So guys, you wake up in the morning and you had a very bad day yesterday, right? You had a very bad day yesterday, you wake up in the morning and now the devil's there and he's telling you, you'll never make it. Nobody appreciates you. Nobody loves you. Everybody disrespects you. You're like a mat. They put you in the floor to step on you. They clean up their dirt on top of you. They just put your burdens on you. You are nothing in God's eyes. Where is your God? If God is for you, then what's with your life? If God is for you, then why are you suffering like this? If God is for you, why are you like this? Wouldn't you be higher and better and wiser and stronger and honored if you were with God for real? Guys, I was imitating the way the devil talks. That will be the devil right there in that situation. I wanted to let you guys know. Whenever the devil comes up to you, and whenever he does things or says things to you like that, and shows things, your mistakes, your errors, your flaws, your personality, your spirit, and you may feel, man, nobody appreciates me, nobody loves me. Let me let, me let you know, guys. How can you win that battle right there? You wake up in the morning, and you have to know who you are. Your identity in Christ is the most important thing you should have in your mind and know in your heart who you are in Christ. You have to speak it out. You have to declare because words have power in the spiritual realm. And this is how you do it. Father, I am a child of the Most High God. I will be the head and not the tail. I am a prince and a king in God's eyes. I am rich in God's eyes. I am honored and respected by everyone. In God's eyes, I am a son of God. I am a man of God or I'm a woman of God. I am a creator, creation. I am a creation from the creator. I am who God says I am. I'm not dirt. I am gold. I am silver. I am blessed. I am honored. I am a warrior for God. I am saved. God has forgiven me. God has redeemed me. God is with me. God is for me. God is great. I declare and decree. That's what you guys have to do in the morning. You have to do that in the morning, guys. When you wake up, you declare everything you are in God's eyes. And God will give it to you. Because when you declare, you speak it out. Do you guys have any idea who you are? Yes. You're human. And that already takes the devil off by the fact that you're human. No matter what, you're always going to be human. And as a human, you have power. You have authority. God created the angels with great glory, beauty, and power, and strength, and authority. Of course, yes, the angels are powerful beings. They're spirits who are very powerful. Spirits are very powerful. Yes, it's true. But did you not know? That we humans are even more powerful than the angels. Because we are children of God. And we were the ones that were rescued. Like in Hebrews in the New Testament says. Jesus didn't come for the angels. He came in the form of a man to save us. And the Bible also says that when we get to heaven in the New Testament. Paul says we will serve God. And we will also judge the angels. You have to know, guys, that you are powerful and strong even through your words. So you speak it out and the devil hates that. You got to speak it out. You got to say it. You got to show it. You got to be honest with everything you do. What I mean by that is you have to be very vulnerable with God. You have to say, well, God, here's my mistakes. Here's, my, here's everything I've done wrong. But you know what, Lord? I believe that you're going to make me stronger. I believe you're going to make me wiser. I believe you're going to make me stronger more powerful because God is with you. God is for you. God will never leave you. And God is always going to be by your side. And you got to declare what God has told you in the Old Testament, New Testament. God has said, you are citizens in the kingdom of God. You are citizens of Jesus. You're no longer with the devil. You're no longer with the darkness. You are a child of the most high God. You got to put that straight. You got to keep your focus straight. Remember who you are. Whenever bad days come along, just go to the bathroom or go to your room or anywhere private and say to yourself and let God hear you by saying, I know who I am. I am this and this and this and this and that. Don't ever say the opposite. Words 
have power. When you speak something, it's powerful. When you say something, it's powerful. You have to have those words. You have to wake up every morning and declare who you are in Christ. You can even say this, God, I am handsome. I am beautiful. I am gorgeous. I am wonderfully made. I am a miracle child. I am saved. I'm unique. I'm special. Nobody can be like me. I am a man of God. Now, you got to say that. You got to be very persistent with yourself and say that because the devil's going to run off when you say that. He's going to say, oh man, he knows the truth. He knows the truth. I got to get out of here. I can't with this one. Because guys, you have to know who you are. You have to declare that to yourself. Declare it. So, Father God who is in heaven, hallowed and holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on this earth and in my life as it is in your plans and in heaven. Give me today my daily bread, Father. Do not lead me to temptation, but deliver me from Satan and forgive all of my sins as I forgive those who sin against me. For yours is the power, beauty, and glory, and authority. Amen. Always do the Lord's Prayer. Always do it. Every day, do the Lord's Prayer. At least once. If you want to go to the least, just do it. Just do it. And declare. I want you guys to declare this with me. All right? Okay? Whoever you're watching. Whoever's watching, declare this. I am beautiful. I am a man of God. I am a savior for God's kingdom. I, if you're a woman, you put the one in perspective. I am a woman of God. I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am blessed. I am mar mar marvelous. I am magnificent. I am extraordinary. I am beyond ordinary. I am a child of the Most High God. I am a citizen in the kingdom of God. Declare those words right there, guys. And you're going to see change in yourself, in your feelings, and in your spirit. God bless you guys. Peace out.